The Israelis say this is a new phase of their war. This attack shows us that this war is moving away from Gaza. Is this a second front opening up on the streets of Lebanon, in your view? Uh, well, thank you, Dan, for having me. Always a pleasure to be with you guys. Um, well, to be quite frank, to be quite honest with you, Dan, it's been uh, it's been really outrageous what happened the past 48 hours. Uh, it, it really hit every every corner of the city, every corner of Lebanon. Uh, it, it has uh, really caused damage to a lot of civilians as well, and it's definitely a very serious escalation. I don't see uh, any act of uh, uh, escalation that will not lead to provocation, and that is what we fear most, because what happened yesterday will only trigger more uh, escalation into the conflict, and this will be uh, really a very, very dangerous, I think, 48 hours uh, that uh, uh, this country will witness to see how uh, uh, the reaction will be. Minister, you just said yourself a very dangerous 48 hours ahead. Of course, Hezbollah has vowed to respond. You sound quite clearly concerned about the prospects of further escalation with Israel and the potential perhaps for a wider conflict. What do you expect to happen next? Well, our concern is, is um, you know, uh, when we keep mentioning the word provocation, I think what happened yesterday is a very serious provocation. It's, it's really jumping out of any understanding when we were saying that, you know, the, the war between Hezbollah and Israel was being very strategic, was being very focused. I think yesterday broke all rules, all borders. It went beyond because in Lebanon, this is considered, you know, an act of terror because it really, uh, it really hit thousands of people that were in supermarkets, that were in their cars, where were bringing their kids from school even. And, and, and it, it created a massive, massive reaction, even with people in Lebanon that were against Hezbollah. Now they are taking a stand uh, more with Hezbollah. So the provocation turned from one entity in Lebanon into the entire country. Yesterday we witnessed an unparalleled, unparalleled kind of unification among Lebanese political parties towards what happened. The hospitals are filled, uh, you know, with people that uh, are injured in every way you can imagine. Uh, and, and I think this is a serious provocation. That's why I'm terribly concerned that this will uh, lead to further violence. And this will definitely escalate uh, the situation, particularly that we heard uh, uh, yesterday as well that the uh, Iranian ambassador to Lebanon has been uh, uh, deeply wounded and he has been transferred to Tehran. And this as well has been seen as a serious uh, uh, extra provocation to Iran. So it is quite serious. It's, it's, it's quite dangerous. Uh, so that's why we're looking carefully at the next 48 hours with all the efforts being done still to try to calm down things. But I think we are at a very tough point now. Indeed. At the same time as well, though, clear concerns among the Lebanese public about their own safety and security given this incident. What are you doing right now to maintain public safety and essential services? You mentioned there that civilians were, of course, also injured in the targeting of these Hezbollah militants. So what can be done on the ground to make sure that people actually feel safe when they go outside, Minister? Well, to be quite honest, Dan, I had few, uh, few consultations, few phone calls with uh, prior friends who are, you know, military experts globally uh, or in the U.S. the past 24 hours because uh, us, even ministers and politicians, uh, press people, we do use uh, 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 not the pagers. We do use certain uh, methods of communications. Uh, uh, you know, with, with the security uh, uh, people that we have with us. And they do carry some of the uh, security devices or telecom devices uh, that were uh, uh, targeted yesterday. So, and I learned from some of the advisors that I uh, connected with globally yesterday that this kind of technology, this kind of threat can uh, be dangerous on civilian airplanes. It can be dangerous on civilian phones, the iPhones we use. It can be dangerous on cameras 
that are in, in people's offices or houses. Um, it can be dangerous literally to anything that has a lithium battery or is connected to the Internet. So uh, uh, we are looking at this as, as a serious, serious threat, not just on Lebanon, but a global serious threat, and it's unprecedented. If this goes out of control or out of hand and this kind of attack uh, is, 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 is right. easy and accessible, this is a global threat to humanity. Right.